I'm going to drag the Nexus 9000V to the workspace. It's now available. I'll start up the Nexus 9000V and open up a console. The device is now booting up. This may take a while, so you simply need to wait for it to boot up. I'll speed the video boot process up. So we told, do we want to abort auto provisioning and continue with normal setup? I'm going to say yes. We asked, do we want to enforce a secure password standard? At this point, I'm going to press control C. We asked to enter an admin password. So I'm going to type in a password. And it can't be too simple. I'm going to confirm the password. And then I'm asked, do I want to enter basic configuration dialog? I'm going to say no. And notice I can log in with my username of admin and my password. I'm now connected to the CLI of the switch show version. Allows me to view the version. It's a Nexus operating system switch. Nexus 9000. We can see that it's a virtual chassis. Show run shows us the running configuration of the switch. So that's how you import a Nexus 9000V into GNS3. Now the Nexus 9000V allows you to access a Linux shell directly from the console. So we need to type this command in global configuration mode to enable the bash shell. So feature bash shell. And notice if we use the command run, we can run a bash shell. This is a Linux. You can see the home directory as an example. Type ifconfig, that allows us to view interfaces on the switch using Linux commands. So there are some Ethernet interfaces and other interfaces on the switch. We can see the processes on the switch. So we can use the command PS and top to view the top processes. So again, PS shows us processes. Or as per the documentation, PS hyphen EL. So PS hyphen EL. Lots of processes running on the switch. We can even run Python directly from the Linux shell. So do something like this. You can exit out. Exit here takes me back to the switch console. And we could run Python directly from the switch console. So again, print hello world. Notice the version of Python is 2.75. So this is a Cisco console, all the traditional commands that you may be used to, but we can also run a bash shell here, drop down to the bash shell, and here we have Linux commands like ifconfig, or pwd, or who am I? We are admin. We can make a directory, and I should create one, let's say Python, move to the Python directory. We are now in the Python directory. Nano Python test 1.py. Nano is not supported by default. Let's try VI. Notice we are using VI. Quit VI back in the bash shell. Clear to clear the screen. So again, we can drop down to a Linux shell directly within the console of a Nexus 9000V. Exit takes us back to the Cisco shell where we can use commands that we used to in a Cisco shell. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.